What would the world be without stereotypes? If you can think of it, there's likely a few stereotypes that are associated with the subject of choice. Right or wrong, I suppose, it's just the way of the world. And when it comes to felines, the stereotypes are just about as numerous as cans of wet cat food on the back porch. In today's material, I'll detail a few of the most common stereotypes, discuss the reasons behind these labels and generalizations, and also I'll unroll the actual truth behind these broad assumptions. Cats are lazy. Cats are independent. Cats, they just don't love people. They don't enjoy playtime. All that and more right here, right now. Interesting topic, and I've got you covered. Stay tuned. Since I mentioned independence, that seems like a mighty fine place to start. The stereotype tells us that cats are truly independent. They walk to the beat of their very own drum. They'd rather be left alone. They're not social animals. Well, is this really true? In terms of the broad brush label, the answer is no. Let's be honest. If this stereotype was reality across the board, cats would never be pets. I mean, who would own an animal that is like I just described? Sure, cats are in fact independent and they can function as such, but just because felines are independent certainly doesn't mean they aren't social and also very loving. Feral cats, felines that live off the land or on the land and really have none of that human touch, sure, they're highly independent, but that's often because they're working from a different mindset. Cats like that, they can't afford to give in to the first human that walks by. More than likely, the stereotype of supreme independence was born from an observation from afar rather than hands-on daily interaction. Sure, cats are uh, on their own, as they say, type compared to, say, dogs, but being comfortable being alone doesn't mean that cats don't love attention and affection. By default, cats aren't standoffish, at least no more than anyone else. Another stereotype tells us that cats are lazy and they sleep a lot. Well, that sleep part is true, but cats certainly aren't lazy simply because they are cats. Being lazy really has more to do with personality than simply being a feline. Here on the channel, I've talked about the Zoomies quite a bit. Cats running around like they're attempting to qualify for the Olympics or the Daytona 500. If a cat has ever done a number on your house, just running around and knocking things over, well, in that moment, you'd likely pay top dollar for something of this stereotypical laziness. Cats do love to sleep, but they also love to stalk, hunt, and play. Laziness, it speaks more to personality, the environment of the individual cat, old age, and a potential health concern, more than some type of default setting that just can't be changed. If your cat is in fact lazy, there's probably an answer, but it has nothing to do with your pet being a feline. Let's explore another stereotype. This one is interesting as it runs counter to another stereotype. In uh, one corner, you have that laziness, while in the other corner, you have the stereotype that cats have Amazing athletic abilities that can climb most any tree and always land in the proper way, free from harm. The answer, well, so much of what a feline is able to do physically often depends on their general health. Because while cats do possess the ability to move gracefully and essentially flex their bodies in and out of the tightest locations, almost turn themselves into a pretzel, there's a fine line between ability and execution. Some cats are more graceful than others, just like some people are more athletic than others. Not every cat has those cat-like reflexes compared to their peers. The stereotype tells us that cats have elite physical gifts, but in reality, those gifts aren't always equal across the board. This is why it's important to help a cat if possible if you see them in quite the predicament physically. Don't just assume they'll be able to sustain that landing if they do decide to jump. Next up, I guess in some ways similar to independence, there's a stereotype that cats are always angry and aggressive and on edge, always with those teeth out looking to bite and claw. They're difficult to pet because they'll get you. Well, I'm here to tell you that not every cat is the feline from the movie Pet Cemetery. Cats in the big picture being compared to dogs, for example, they're really uh, no more distant, aloof, or even aggressive than, say, really any other animals, within reason, of course. Dogs are indeed man's best friend, but cats certainly aren't the villains. The environment a cat is raised in, what the animal is exposed to, the people they're around, that will mold a cat's demeanor more than some type of hardwired detail that can't be undone. 
And sure, while not every cat is lovey-dovey, cats can be changed into loving animals if love is given to them. If there's an angry cat roaming around, it has little to do with the fact that they are, in fact, a cat. Our next stereotype is curiosity. Cats are curious, we say. They like to explore. Well, is this true? Yes, of course, but most cats are very measured in this way. There's the expression that curiosity, you know, what uh, sort of did the cat in, let's say. But is that really true? Well, not likely. Cats are measured in their curiosity taking things right to the limit, then retreating when that curiosity places them in a bad spot. Cats are curious due to their own want for information. In this regard, feline curiosity is actually a means to acquire safety, making sure things are good, bad, friend, or foe, before taking action based on what has been discovered. Felines are in fact curious, but it's often not to the levels of the old stereotypes and what they could suggest. In fact, some felines, especially as they get comfortable in a home setting, become more inclined to avoid any degree of curiosity simply because the juice, well, it's no longer worth the squeeze. And the final stereotype that I'll mention here today involves maintenance, grooming, and feeding, the whole shebang. The stereotype seems to suggest that because cats sleep as much as 16 or more hours per day and seemingly live in a constant state of grooming, the felines are fairly low maintenance compared to other animals. The fact that a cat really doesn't need to be walked, well, that's also a plus, but are cats really that easy to take care of? Eh, not really, but I wouldn't buy the stereotype that it's all sunshine and rainbows either. If you're really hands-on with your cat, you know the importance of assisting your cat with that grooming. And that can be a task. A few times per week, cleaning out that litter box, it's not always a picnic. Making sure that your cat stays physically active, making sure they stay mentally stimulated... Sure, some cats are likely easier to take care of than others, especially if they're more cooperative and easier to handle in terms of expectations relative for what you need them to do and what you need from them, but I wouldn't say that cats are all out low maintenance. Just because they're not dogs doesn't automatically put them at the opposite end of that conversation. So, to the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, where do you personally stand when it comes to feline stereotypes? If you're a cat owner and a proud owner, have been a proud owner for many years, do feline stereotypes frustrate you at all? Have you ever had a conversation with someone where the stereotype cup was running over? I don't own a cat because of this, that, or the other. Do you feel some folks shy away from owning cats simply because they've bought into all of the stereotypes, especially the negative stereotypes? As for what I mentioned here today, where do you stand? Have you found the stereotypes to be untrue in your own personal ownership journey? I think it's important to acknowledge that just because some measure of truth does exist, it's not the entire picture. One example from one cat doesn't certainly speak for all cats. All felines are quite unique, especially when it comes to personality and the environment they are raised in, how they grew up, and how a cat acts and what they do and how they behave. Some of it will simply be a product of where they exist and how they exist. Many times the negative aspects that people see in cats, well, it has nothing to do with felines and everything to do with other factors, many of which are likely unseen. Whenever a personality can be shaped and molded, it's always going to be a mixed bag. Cats aren't born angry and unlovable and aloof. Something has created those qualities and molded those qualities. With respect to this content, your opinions are always welcomed and appreciated. In that comment section, as always, it's all yours. If you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.